The gold-spotted oak borer is an introduced, non-native, invasive beetle that has killed tens of thousands of native oaks in San Diego County. This pest is causing significant economical, ecological, cultural, and aesthetic losses to the region. The beetle was first noted during a survey in the Cleveland National Forest in 2004, but in 2008, Dr. Tom Coleman, an entomologist with the U.S. Forest Service, pinpointed gold-spotted oak borer as the major contributor to oak mortality in the rural East County area. It's believed to have been transported to Southern California through infested firewood brought from Arizona. Its common name is gold-spotted oak borer. However, its taxonomic appointment is a Gryllus rugatatus. In short, this beetle is simply referred to as g -sob. The gold-spotted oak borer is very small, smaller than a penny. Adults are about four-tenths of an inch long and .08 of an inch wide with a slender, bullet-shaped body. They are primarily black with an iridescent green sheen and have six distinctive gold-colored spots on their forewings. g larvae are legless and white in color. Mature larvae can reach 13 sixteenths of an inch in length. Larvae possesses two pincher-like spines at the top of the abdomen and C-shaped spiracles. Currently, there are no effective treatments that can eradicate g once it becomes established, and there is great concern of the threat g poses to susceptible oak species found throughout much of California and Southern Oregon. Based on research findings to date, there are several recommended best management practices, BMPs, for managing g infested wood. Seasoned Wood Strategy Note the month in which the tree died or was cut down and take appropriate actions to ensure g infested wood has been seasoned or rested on site 12 months plus an entire g flight season, May through October, before it is moved. Grinding Wood Strategy Contract a professional to grind infested wood to a 3-inch minus standard. Ground material may then be used in a sustainable practice such as soil amendment or mulch. Containment Strategy Covering or encasing wood stockpiles with thick millimeter, clear, plastic, tarp, or finely mesh metal screen small enough to prevent mosquitoes from passing through. Debarking Strategy Wood that is thoroughly debarked will not transport g -sob. Bark must be completely removed all the way to the sapwood, and removed bark must be seasoned, destroyed, or contained, because g larvae or pupae may still be alive within the bark. Documenting compliance with these best management practices may reduce liability against claims of knowingly spreading g by moving or selling infested wood. Be aware that firewood consumers are being educated about the dangers of g infested wood and may inquire about the wood's origin and if BMPs were followed to ensure that it doesn't contain g -sob. Collaborate with local land managers and specialists to create a plan that best suits your situation and local environment. There is no quarantine currently in effect for gold-spotted oak borer or laws prohibiting the movement of infested wood, as there is for other exotic pests and diseases impacting trees in various parts of the nation. However, there are several ways you can help keep g from spreading. Do not move or support movement of g infested wood. Buy firewood in the area you plan to burn it. Stay informed. Subscribe to the g email list for current news and information related to g -Sob. Let others know about g and its threat. Report suspected g infestation through the online survey form. Join the Early Warning System, EWS, a volunteer citizen scientist group to monitor oak tree health in your area. The Gold Spotted Oak Borer website may be found at www.gsob.org. Visit to learn more about g and access a variety of resources, or if you prefer, Contact University of California Cooperative Extension Office in San Diego at 858-694-2845.